Belgrade resident recorded a video apologizing for filming on his phone the aftermath of shelling and the work of air defense in the city in early January. In the video, the Russian stands surrounded by people in camouflage uniforms with the inscription Smirsh. I mistakenly rashly made a video in which I captured our air defense systems on camera. Smirsh is a Russian acronym that means death to spies. Smirsh units functioned in the counterintelligence agencies of the USSR from 1943 to 1946. Russian politicians announced the resumption of the organization's activity in the Federation in December 2023. It proves another example of how the Russian authorities consciously coach the Russia-Ukraine conflict in the spirit of the Second World War and their strong focus on the supposed infiltration of external threats into the country. UK Ministry of Defense on Social Network X. The revival of Smirsh in Russia is a restoration of Stalin's methods of suppression and oppression of civilians, primarily Russians. Soviet Smirsh is famous for the scale of repression of civilians. Hundreds of thousands of Soviet citizens went through arrest and camps. Tens of thousands were shot. All of these are the results of this unit's work. Stalin's methods seem to fit organically into modern Russian reality, experts say. The Federation, for example, is actively introducing the practice of forcibly placing unwanted people in psychiatric hospitals. What dictator claim schizophrenia and abnormality is actually an indicator of normality and more advanced human development. If he still wants to say some right things despite the risks, then in fact he is much more developed than all of them. And that's the most unpleasant part. It turns out that punitive psychiatry harms people who are better than the people who persecute them. It is not known how many Russians in total are subjected to forced psychiatric treatment because of their anti-war stance or disagreement with the Kremlin. Human rights activists speak of dozens such cases, but they assume there is much more. It is also difficult to calculate the scale of repression in general. The repression is indeed increasing. In the past year, there has been such a trend among ordinary people. For example, an artist who changed price tags. We are talking about hundreds of people in the regions who are being prosecuted in cases about fakes. Their lives are simply being ruined because the sentences are not small and the authorities intend to highlight all this in the media. According to the Top 10 VPN project, in 2023 the Russian population is the most affected by internet restrictions. After the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Kremlin focused its efforts on fighting freedom of speech and dissent. In 2023, more than 69,000 internet resources in Russia were removed or blocked for so-called fakes and discrediting the Russian army. This is reported by the Prosecutor General's Office of the Federation. In 2022, 128,000 internet resources were blocked. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.